Link. 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 I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Ruta. Rudania. Meadow. Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm Halis Kurohos. On the last episode, we finished up all the secret beasts, and on this episode, well, we are going to start completing the uh, shrines that we were. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, I'll be working on the missions to complete the missing. Shrines? Then there is one, but um, I thought we only had to talk to this guy here. Oh, that's that's not good. Um, you know what? Let's go to the Rita Village. I think we can complete the one over there. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Did you lose someone? Ah, oh, your child, of course. The Warble's Nest. Sure. Let's head to there. So this is the one that I was trying to do beforehand. Uh, you need to complete the Sacred Beast so it perches on the, on the top of the town. So this kid goes to practice over here. And there was one that I mentioned that I thought we had to cook something for. We can start that up, but I think it's not necessary uh, any anymore um, at this point. So let's go up and talk to the girl. Oh, I know I need some... I need a leaf. Which I don't have anymore. I think I dropped it somewhere along the way. So let me chop some wood until I get one. Okay, I'll swap my... A spear for the cork leaf. And I'm here, we should find... There you are. Hello. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Uh. oh, okay, so... Remember when I told you... There was a mission where we had to cook something that wasn't this one. Well, turns out I was wrong and it is this one. So, uh, I'll go up there again. Oops, there's one. Hello. Yes? The Salmonia. Oh, however, that's <laughs> said. Uh, kill one. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. I'll have to get uh, ingredients. Uh, okay, you little <clears throat> bird girl. Okay, so ingredients are upstairs, and it turns out they're not upstairs. Right here? Oh yeah. Hello, little girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the real hot. Wow. Okay. You should be there. Yep. Uh, uh, pond. I think I already have the. Oh, she gave me one. Oh. Okay. Let's go to the pond then to grab the um, the salmon. Or is it pronounced salmon? I haven't really looked into that. Is it Salmon with an L or a Salmon with double M? Hey there. Yeah? I, yeah, I came here to remind you of the rehearsal and to get the 
fish, I guess. Okay. Ooh. All right, so I have the ingredients. Um, let's go back to the kitchen. Hey there. Got, all, got the ingredients. Uh huh, yeah. Do you know how to make this thing? Uh, I just were just going. Uh huh. Well, they gave me just two things, so I'm hoping that's, that's the only thing that I need. Some goat butter and the salmon. What's the salmon? Hearty salmon. Cook. <laughs> nope. Okay, so what the hell? What am I missing for this? Nobody told me the in ingredients, right? No, they they just. Mm, I'm gonna need to buy another piece of butter. Mm -hmm. Pressing the her songs, not the second oldest said she was going to finish. Oh, maybe the. Yeah, uh, I'll take three just in case. <laughs> oh, it's all of them. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I'll go search for the eldest girl since I don't think that's the one begging to be cooked some salmon. Yeah, that's cool, but do you know how to make this salmon thing? Oh! I'm ready to I'm one thing with uh huh? Everything save How do you make the thing? There you are. What are you doing up here? Hi. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to make the thing? Uh, of course, you were just killing time. Tabantha wheat? Oh! I guess there are three ingredients to the thing. Well, I, I mean, it was obvious that it wasn't just two. <laughs> uh, where is the kitchen? There you are. Right, so we should be able to make this thing now. Uh, we need um, the salmon and the butter and the wheat. Ooh. Okay. Wow, that that looks nice. You shut up! Yes, it is. Now shut up, take it, and go. Right. Well, we got that now, so let's head to the rocks where they should be singing now. Or practicing at the very least. Just over there, so I'll meet you once I get there again. There you are. What? Can you sing? Okay. Okay, so that's the other order in which you have to blow in the um, rocks. I'm not sure if you can do this before doing this quest. Maybe you can. You can do most of the things without having to complete their quests. So the... F oh, I should <laughs> equip this. First is the fourth girl. Then the fifth. The third... Where's the... Uh, oh. The first and the second. The first time that I tried to do this, uh, <clears throat> I was trying to look into the colors and uh, the number of notes each one sent out. It took me a little bit of time to understand that it was the order in which the girl sang. Not anything else. Well, I guess the color of the notes also match with them. But, uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's very simple. I'm, I suppose you can do this beforehand. I do not know if the um, Goron's quest you can do before 
you beat up the the circuit beast. I don't think so. I, I know there are some that <laughs> I like how the, the song is the background for this. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I I know there's... Well, maybe you can do all of them before you can beat the Sacred Beasts. I don't know. What? Hey, we got a new shrine. The Winding Root. Okay, so let's equip back our sword and see what's in store for us. I wish there was no puzzle inside this, or test, I should say. But I guess the um, outside test wasn't all that hard to make. Wow, this is a very long <laughs> ladder. Mm. What the? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Whoa. scared me more than it should have uh sure where do i go from here am i screwed do i have to fall down and die <laughs> oh my god okay let's see there's a chest over there some fans Okay, there, we can get pushed through through here. Wow. Um, oh, there's one thing that I should probably mention as we continue with this. There was a message um, when I started the um, this session. Okay, that was that was just me. Uh, when I started this session, there was a message. I, um, from Zelda saying that uh, I can access the new DLC. Uh, I I think I'll um, put that part of um, before the the main episode. But I I didn't expect it, so I I loaded up trying to get everything ready for the recording session, uh, just to not have. Um, to waste some time in stuff like getting to where I need to be which was by the um, by the Goron which in the end turned out to be a waste of time because that wasn't what I was supposed to do uh, but luckily thanks to Elgato's um, record the software I can record that section that I missed in the American luckily I had my program open at the time. Right, with that done, I'll meet you back at Goron City. We are looking for a place nearby, near the um, protein place, which I believe is this place. Yeah, the protein palace. So this guy is selling this stuff, uh, the cooked steak oh, and fish and mushrooms. But uh, <laughs> even he says that. Uh, let me see him. Uh, does my mug bombs stop falling? That's good. For be we we're about for business, huh? What this place? It's a grilling joint. Okay. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, for tourists, do we get so many of those? Aha. Uh -huh. No, nothing else. But the thing is, if I have. Some of the uh, any stay with me. Um, yeah, let's grab one of these. You hold one steak and drop it on the floor. It cooks after a little bit. Oops, I got the raw meat back. Uh, but yeah, th that's the, the the thing. You can cook your meat on the floor in this place. You don't have to buy anything from these. Poor Goron. He even says that, I believe, after. Wow! <laughs> I was too close to that. There we go. 
He says something like that. Um, <laughs> let me hit that. Um, sometimes that I I got it once that he hopes nobody finds out that you can cook on the floor. <laughs> oh, there you are. No, he hasn't. Who's your brother? Oh, Gunguron. I I think I know him. Yeah, he is the one. So yeah. this guy's brother is the one that was digging in the uh, the um, hole where, where I started up this episode. But um, yeah, I had to talk with him first. Now I can go back to the to, her, to his brother and try to complete his side of the quest. So first of all, let me equip my cheating mask and then I'll meet you back over here at the um, Gorka Tunnel. Remember that you have to enter from this side over here. Ah, here we are. He is just tired from digging, I guess. You know, I, I don't think it's something you really need to find. Oh, hey, look who's here. Why didn't you come first? I mean, on your own. Uh, yeah, on your own. Why did I have to come to get your brother if you were going to come either way? Ah, <gasps> fine. Oh. I'll go get your rock roast. Now, the rock roast is a... Uh, how do you call it? A recurring item or of sorts in the Zelda games. <laughs> It's something that the, it's a delicacy for the um, the Gorons, and yeah, I guess well, since Gorons eat rocks, this rock is especially tasty to them. And there are a lot of them just over here. <laughs> They're rocks in the shape of um, well, piece of meat. I don't know what the name of these pieces of meat are, but uh, yeah. So you have to bring this up to them. Now, the this little mission here is hard. Not only because you have these enemies here that would normally be aggro to you, but there are also a lot of rocks falling down. So that's there's also that. Yeah, as you can see. It's pretty dangerous, and also some choo-choo's coming up. Um, with the mask, obviously, it's a lot easier, since the Bokoblins will not be aggroed. But the rocks are always an issue. They're just phantom rocks that fall down from nowhere. <laughs> Also, the chews are a bit of an issue, if you ask me. Hey, excuse me, I'm coming through. Oh, big mama boulder. Okay, I'm safe. I don't think there's any more boulders falling off. That, uh, that should be the last one. But yeah, if you're not using one of the cheat masks, if you have uh, the other disguise mask, you should use that. But if you don't, kill all the enemies coming down and then on the way up just be careful with um, the boulders. And they cook the stone meat for some reason and somehow, I don't really know how. Well, I guess it heats up the insides and they start burning up. Like coal, maybe? Ooh. I guess that could be uh, that they start burning the coal inside the roast or something? Maybe this. <sighs> maybe it looks kinda tasty just on the outside, but seeing the gorn eat it doesn't really make me want to eat any of that. <laughs> And that stone gives him super speed and strength, I guess. Ooh. 
Yeah, that was pretty ah! nuts. Oh? <laughs> yeah, there's one at current city. Yeah, you, there is one literally next to your city. Well, town. Well, it's the name city, but I, I guess it's it's just a town. There, the, uh, you don't have enough currents to be qualified as city. I'm sorry. Pretty heal. Hmm. Sounds interesting, but I don't need my mask in here. So let's equip something with more defense. That should work. Oh! Oh! I see. Where do you think you're going? Whoa! Uh, we can do this. Ah! <laughs> Should be more. Ooh, nice. Should be one last one up there. All right. I knew it. And that's the easy way to do this, <laughs> this ramp. There you go. Now I'll fly down to grab this chest. I'm going down for the, for the rupees though, that's too far down. <laughs> nice. I think there's one more over there. I'll check it out and come back up if there's nothing there. There was a ruby on the wall. Oh, I forgot my pants. Da -da 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 -da. Don't worry about me. Let me just equip this. Ah, there we go. And with that, all the shrines are done, except for a single one. So I'll go do that right now. It's, be, it's gonna be a bit of a long episode, but yeah. I'll meet you around here at the Forgotten Temple's entrance. Here we are then. Now let me just find a good spot to land. Uh, about here, I guess, yeah. And um, yeah, we just need to fly down to the to the other side of the temple. Easy as that. <laughs> you know it's never that easy. But uh... If done properly, this is one of the coolest things you'll ever do in these kind of places. Yes, keep floating. Keep going, don't look back, it feels like it's not gonna be good, but uh, trust me, it is going to be fine. Just be careful, follow a straight line, and don't look back, ever. Right here at the end. Just drop down and keep going. Get behind the door. And that's all you have to do. It looks pretty scary, I know. But... There's nothing really impossible in that. It's just... Follow a straight line. <laughs> and for that we get our last shrine. And with a great flame blade, which I, we don't need. And yeah, I, I think they thought this was a good enough test. That should be the last shrine, and behind that, we have the largest statue yet. So let's pray on it. I'll have a heart container. Thank you. But I thought there are no more... Hmm. 
those should have been all the shrines. Do I need to reload? Uh, give me a moment, I'll try to reload the area. Hmm. That is strange. They do give you a little something when you complete all the shrines. Am I missing something? I hope not. That should have been the last of the shrines. Um, I really don't think there are four more. <laughs> All the beasts are conquered. Well, this is this is a good place to stop as any other. Uh, look into it for the next episode um, to get our reward. So, anyways, I thank you for watching. If you liked this episode, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, but do leave a comment telling me what you liked or didn't like so I can improve. Jalisco, out.